everyone, Sarah here from Sarah in Wonderland and today we are coming to you from Sarah in Machine Land. So I have a very exciting video for you guys. This is my NYX Professional Makeup Top 20 video for the 7th Annual Face Awards for the challenge theme Machinist. Be sure to head over to faceawards.com where you can vote three times a day per email address to help your favorite top 20 get into the top 12. So we have a ton of work ahead of us in this tutorial, so let's get started. So first we're gonna cover the prosthetics that we use. So I sculpted a clay heart out of an air drying lightweight clay. I made like an upside down kind of rounded triangle shape. I added some tubes and then I added some veining by twisting little pieces of clay between my fingers and then just attaching them for the veins. And I forgot to include the part where I painted them, but I used alcohol activated paints because they gave a wash of color, but you can use acrylic or anything that you have on hand. Next to sculpt the prosthetic that will go over our eye, I first measured a heart shape out of a piece of cardboard that would be roughly the size that I wanted it to be. Then I drew the heart shape onto my life cast. If you don't have a life cast, any flat surface will work. And then I covered it in petroleum jelly so that our prosthetic would come off easily. Applied a very light layer of liquid latex all over the area of the heart as well as a little bit outside of it so that we can make edges to blend. So next, taking some cotton pads, I just cut them into shapes to make it easier, but you want to make sure you have a generous layer so that your eye is nice and protected. So while that is still wet, I'm taking some gears, some nuts, some bolts. Make sure nothing is sharp. This was very safe for my eye. There was no sharp edges or anything like that. And I just tried to mix and match the metal so that nothing was beside itself. 
So after that it is dry, I left it for a few hours, I went in with cotton balls now and I ripped them into little strips and I placed them along the outer edge of our heart that we just made. I then went and covered them in liquid latex and make sure they are very saturated and then you can gently pull at the edges and fold them inwards and outwards because if your skin was ripped open, it wouldn't just be falling all in one direction. And then I left that to dry and again, I pre-painted that so getting into the makeup portion of this tutorial, we are using the Vichy Mineral 89 as our moisturizer today. So this is a super lightweight moisturizer that is great for all year round, but especially before makeup. And while I let that set in, even though it really sets in pretty much right away, I decided to take the prosthetic off my life cast now that it's nice and dry. I took the NYX Professional Makeup SFX Set Loose Setting Powder and I went over the edges of the liquid latex because when you peel them off they will stick to itself and then I very carefully and slowly peeled off the prosthetic. When you start peeling this you also want to brush some powder underneath, put it aside till we're ready for it. Going in with the NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Drop Foundation, I used the shade Porcelain for this tutorial. I went a couple shades lighter than my usual skin tone because I want it to be nice and pale. So I just dropped this like the Instagram models do all over my face. <laughs> so I just apply a nice even layer all over my face, my ears, my neck, my chest. You want to make sure that everything is nice and cohesive. I am taking some concealer and I am going to conceal the high points of my face as well as under my eyes. And you'll notice that I left my right eye a little bit more blank because we are putting the prosthetic there so we're going to have to take off the makeup there anyways. So I just blended that out with my beauty sponge and set underneath my eyes and you want to make sure you look up while you do this so you don't set any creases. So then going in with a taupey gray eyeshadow, I wanted that cool tone contours and you want very, very sharp cheekbones. So I did a very defined contour and you can see I brought it down in that S shape to further hollow out the face. Then I shaded the temples and the forehead as well as contoured my nose. Then going in with some black eyeshadow, I just filled in my one eyebrow because we will be blocking out the other one. And then I took NYX Professional Makeup Gel Liner and Smudger in the shade Jet Black and I just added some hair like strokes. I went in and cleaned up underneath my brows with some concealer because we want that really sharp defined brow. Evil Queens have sharp cheekbones, sharp eyebrows. And then just contouring my collarbone and my chest area with the taupey gray eyeshadow again just to bring everything together and then my little trick for that sharp eyeshadow I'm sure you guys have seen this before but I just use some tape apply this in the shape that you would like then going in with the NYX professional makeup single eyeshadow in I have a headache I just set my eyeshadow base which was just concealer and then just going in with a mid-tone brown I am adding this to the crease I'm going to bring this up the highest and this is just gonna act as a very subtle transition shade for all the reds that we are going to be using. And now for the fun part, we start building up the red eyeshadow. So I took a very bright corally red eyeshadow and I applied that just underneath the brown shade that we just used. You want to make sure you bring this all the way in. And a trick for blending out eyeshadow is if you very gently, because you want to be gentle with the skin around your eyes, pull up your eyebrow. It makes it so much easier to blend that little spot in there, especially if you have hooded eyes. So next going in with the NYX Professional Makeup Primal Colors in the shade Hot Red and I just packed this underneath the corally red shade that we just used as well as on the outer corner. So I decided to take the tape off here and just blend out that corner of the eyeshadow just a little bit because I didn't want to have it super harsh. And then take your time with this step and we are going to take some concealer and we are going to cut the crease of our eye. I went a little bit higher than what I typically do and I actually love the way this looked it really sold the look when my eyes were open as well as closed. And then going in with a very bright metallic gold shade, I am going to pack this on the inner third of our eye. And then I'm going back in with the NYX Professional Makeup Primal Color in the shade Red. And I very gently just packed this between the gold and the darker red shade. And it made the transition between the two so easy and seamless. So going in with a little bit of liquid liner, I am just creating a nice wing. And it's super easy to do since we have that sharp line from the tape to follow. So then we're going to take the same red shade, starting with the lightest and putting that on the lower lash line. I took this down pretty far and then I took 
took the darker red shade and applied that closer to the lash line. So next, taking the NYX Professional Makeup Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner <laughs> and in the shade Jet Black, I applied this to my waterline as well as my upper lash line so that it hides our falsies better. And I took a little bit of black eyeshadow and further smoked out that liner. Taking a lighter gold shade, I'm going to add a bright inner corner highlight. And then going in to the body portion of this. So I took some silver water activated body paints and just stippled it on with a stippling sponge. But I didn't like how this looked because typically metal is smooth and shiny rather than rough and stippled looking. So I went back in with a damp paper towel afterwards, just tapped over it and it gave it that smooth effect. So going back in with the silver body paint, I applied this to the high points of my body with whatever was left on the paper towel. I brought it up my neck so that we had a gradient going in with the NYX professional makeup single eyeshadow in the shade tin which is this beautiful silver shade and I used this as my highlight so I applied this to my cheekbones and to my cupid's bow and it does look like I have a little bit of a silver mustache but it's okay I like it and then I went over my collarbones further with this so next, I outlined the shape of my heart and where I wanted it and then drew a circle around it. And then I went in with special effects silicone to make the ripped open wound. I went back in with the same stippling technique because I wanted it to look a little bit corroded around where the hole was and that's why we have the hole there. Took the same gray and silver shades that we used on the rest of our body and just intensified it. And then I took the cool tone shadow that we used to contour our face and just contoured around the edges of the silicone. And then because the gray got pretty heavy, I took some alcohol activated paints that was similar to my skin tone and just stippled that over top to break up some of the color. Next, to further intensify the corroded look, I took some black water activated paints and applied this just to the very outside of the circle. So then we're going to apply some false lashes. I curled my lashes, I applied some mascara, and then I actually applied a double set of lashes. I applied a longer pair as well as a fuller crisscross pair that I attached together and then put on my eyes. And they were quite heavy, but they were exactly the drama that I was looking for. So next I went in with a pair of scissors and I trimmed off the edges of my prosthetic that were a little bit torn. I'm going to go block out my brow. So I take some washable glue and I apply it in the direction that my hair grows and then the opposite direction. I brush it back up and then I use a little bit of water to smooth out any bumps. And while that's drying, I take the NYX Professional Makeup Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner in the shade Red Tape. So I just line and filled in my lips. I lined my upper lips a little bit more more rounded as in kind of like a heart shape but nothing too dramatic. I also filled in my lips with this color and then I applied a very similar shade of liquid lipstick right over top of that. Now that our first layer of glue is dried we are going to apply another layer over top of that. So next I glued the heart down. Well at least I thought I did. I used the same special effects silicone that I had used on my body but as you can see in the next few clips it started to slide down. Going back to the eyebrows I went in with an orange orange color corrector to hide the dark tones of my brows. Now where the special effects silicone still does work in the sense of adhesive, I decided to glue some little bolts on my collarbones and these held up great and the best part is that it is a clear solution so you can't see it at all. So I took off the part as well as the paint. I cleaned my skin with rubbing alcohol to take off any oils and then I took actual adhesive this time and I applied a thin layer, waited for that to dry and applied a second and layer over top and then stuck the heart down and it did not go anywhere. I put some Vaseline on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So taking my NYX Professional Makeup Be Gone Makeup Wipes, I removed the makeup around where the prosthetic would be laying. I applied the same adhesive that I did for the heart the second time. So same process where I applied a thin layer, let it dry, applied another thin layer and let that dry till it was clear and applied the prosthetic. I kept it off my eyebrows, I kept it off my eyelashes, my eye, any 
anything like that just to be safe. Now I know my edges are not the best guys. It was my first prosthetic that I had ever made and applied. To hide those edges we have, I took some liquid latex and just applied this where the skin and the prosthetic meet. So I did a pretty good job of color matching this to my face before I put it on. So I had to do minimal touch up. So I just took some alcohol activated paints like I had mentioned that were similar to my skin tone and applied those over top. And if you apply too much of the paint in one spot, you can very easily just dab it out with your finger and it creates more of a wash. So then I decided to incorporate some of the silver and gray stippling on my face. So that is the completed look guys. This is super out of my comfort zone. This theme was definitely something I have never done before, but I'm really proud of how all the looks turned out and the intro and everything about this. So I'm very proud everything from this video, from the costumes to the throne to the accessories, they were all handmade. Don't forget to vote guys. You can vote every day from June 15th to the 21st three times a day per email address at www.facewards.com. A huge thank you goes out again to NYX Professional Makeup for this amazing opportunity, as well as all the amazing sponsors throughout this experience and the people that have been with me in the top 30 and the top 20. You guys have been amazing and I'm just so, so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for getting me into the top 20 so I had the opportunity to do this video and I love you all so much and I will see you all very soon. Bye everyone!